And if there's anything we've learned is that these five things are very important. down in this Florida heat with my coolify Ooh, look it feels amazing because I've been meaning to do a video about this so you see how it's turning from black to orange that's because it's cooling down and when it's hot it goes it's on black because it does have heat also right Adrian I don't know let me find out no hey give me my coolify back Oh well, yeah, much better. Don't be mad, because I have a Coolify and you don't. I mean, I got a Coolify. No, no, give me my Coolify back. Don't touch my Coolify. Wow. Guys, like seriously, this is like the best. I, I recently went to lunch with a friend, hey Linda, and she absolutely fell in love with it. She was obsessed. She's like, I gotta get one. So if you guys want one now, there's a discount code below. You check it out, it's 15% off, right? Yes. All right, so today we're talking about the five things we learned while living full-time in an RV. The important things that you need as a full-timer versus a weekender. In a couple months, it'll be three years that we've owned RVs, but we have been full-time since January of this year. So basically about what, eight, eight nine months? months? Yep. Nine months, we've been full-time RV. And if there's anything we've learned is that these five things are very important. You have to wait to the end for number one, which is the most important, I think. And I think you think too. Yes. Internet. We tried hotspots, we've tried our phones, but when you go full time, you gotta have better than that. So, Starlink. And, yes, and not to interrupt you, but the difference is that internet is important. If you just stream movies or are an occasional scroller through social media, and that's fine. But if you work from your RV and you live in an RV full time, internet is absolutely important well let's talk about starlink now starlink is what we chose as our primary mode of of internet we also have a hotspot through t-mobile which we use when the starlink is not working because there will be places where you go to it you will not be able to get a signal through starlink because starlink if you have any kind of obstruction trees anything in the way of where the it's the satellite is directed if you can forget it you're not going to get any internet now before we went to starlink we did have a modem which stayed in our spot all the time but once we started to travel we realized that why were we paying for a modem which is stationary and doesn't work when you travel when we can pay the almost exact amount i think ten dollars cheaper and have wi-fi on the go and on the road and that's where starlink comes in yeah starlink has definitely come in handy and we use it all the time and if you want to know even more about starlink Check look out. at the check out the video above we do have three videos we are going to do a latest update since we've had it now for what three months yep. look out for that video in the future but we'll start with this one above so number four number four it wasn't something that i was expecting how much propane it takes to heat your unit um having the 20 pound tanks like you know the same size as your grill because of the fact that you have to keep filling them up definitely want to uh remember about propane because they're not that big and you use propane to cook you use propane to heat up your water and if you're in an all-weather place where you have more than one season you're going to need propane to warm your rv so definitely propane is definitely high on our list so one of the things that i'm doing this for this winter is getting a bigger tank getting a bigger tank with you know a propane company and have them come out and service it because that way it um uh, it avoids me having to go each tank lasts about four probably about four uh days. four days yeah. and you guys can check up 
where we talked about that in more detail. So number three, which is my absolutely favorite. Where are all my females out there? Come on, comment below if you are full-time RV and you are a female and you just don't have enough storage. One of the ways that we maximize storage is how? By getting three storage units. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, you could go that route too, but I wouldn't recommend it, which is why we are here in Florida packing yeah. up our three storages to save some money. That's the expensive way to go. But no, um, having bins, bins are your friends. Um, there's so many ways to organize. Um, you know, these RVs, a lot of times they have these giant spaces, but then you just throw things in there it's not really organized so there's shelves and bins and different things you can get there's bins for the fridge where you can put your eggs and those bins are actually good for people in rvs because you're you're if you're like us and have the what we call a mini fridge it's good but there's square bins round bins small bins there are baskets there's places hanging baskets you can put your fruit so bins are your best friend when you live in an rv the one thing that these manufacturers should focus on is these and i know this is all about price and you know trying to save costs but if you're going to spend a bunch of money i mean to spend another 200 dollars to have baskets that pull out i would love that if you put clothes in bins and fold them up smaller you can save space and um make the best maximize your space in your rv so bins 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 yep and even for exterior um i have a few bins that i keep tools in i keep things separated so it's easy to find when i need them he even has collapsible bins yeah those are the best because it you know if i don't need them i could just make them flat put them away and I believe those collapsible bins you can find at Costco. That's where we got ours. Yep. So we are here, Palm Beach RV, where we bought where our other ones. We bought all three of our RVs. Yes, we did say three, three in three years. <laughs> yeah, so this is one that we're looking at. It's the reflection mid bunk. It's pretty nice. We want a little bit better space. We want my office. I miss my office, and it could be an extra bedroom still. So that could be our workspace for both of us. All right, number two. Number two would be this. Leveling. Leveling has been a game changer for us. Just it saves so much time, guys. I never thought I would say that. When he wanted to upgrade our our leveling to automatic leveling, I said, okay, let's do it. When he told me the price, I was like, um, She's got sticker shock. I got sticker shock. But let me tell you something. We did our research. We were able to save, what, almost $2,000? Mm -hmm. And it is so much a lifesaver yeah i mean when you when you're walking in the unit you know you get the little scissor lifts you still get that shakiness when you're living full time that's kind of annoying so this is why i wanted to upgrade to it and plus but I think when we get to places you want to enjoy yourself you don't want to set up time is a quarter nothing, of what it nothing. was by the time it levels itself i already have the water and electric connected and then we're done so we're done so we're able to spend more time enjoying our campgrounds all right, guys. So, the last thing, and for me, uno. for me, it's the most important, and for you, it will be the most important, too. This looks kind of comfy, don't it? It feels like I'm sleeping. I'm sitting on a piece of wood. Well, and actually, this, is, this, this is not bad. And believe it or not, this is an upgrade. Yeah. The average RV comes with standard, looks like a board, and sometimes it feels like a board. So, you want to upgrade your mattress. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Having, um... A purple mattress that's what we use it's it's a big deal so remember know. guys these are you know our top five things that we learned but i also we talking about it thought they would be useful to you guys but they're important things yes. trust me yes and the mattress is a number one 
you won't have a good sleep. It's nothing like getting a great night's sleep. And both of us have back issues. You're getting old. Yep. You want a good night's sleep, even when you're camping, especially if you're glamping. If you spend any amount of money on, on a camper, you want to sleep good. Yep. So, Upgrade your mattress. All right, guys. That's the end of this. Um, we're here at Palm Beach RV because this is where we bought our RVs. Make sure you come see Justin. If you got any questions, these parts. Yeah. I'm joined here by Van. Hey guys, how we doing out there? He's sales rep. How long you been here? And Jeez, I want to say I'm coming up on eight years now, believe it or not, wow. here at Palm Beach RV. Wow, that's a long time. That's yeah. Good. yeah. So he's been the one that's helped us every time along the way um, with good, bad, and ugly. He's <laughs> he's been the man. Definitely so the other. when you guys are looking for an RV travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever, I mean. Look at this thing. He just showed us this, which is, I mean, that's a beautiful unit. So he can get you, you know, hooked up with anything you guys need. Just come see Van, Palm Beach RV, here in West Palm Beach. They're, they're, family, they're owned family owned. So they are amazing. Yep. Absolutely. Anything family else owned. you want to add? Oh, we actually are coming up on our 30th year here in Palm Beach County. So uh, if you guys get the opportunity, we got to get a lot of great deals going on. And the 22s, got to go. So oh, if you got right. the opportunity, wow. come on in. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That, that, we might be one of those. We so, might be yeah. one of them. Again, so this will be... Tuned. Wait, wait. This is going <laughs> to be number four. Number four in less number than three four. years. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's more than that's usual. Right. Oh, yeah. A little more than usual. <laughs> so we're going to be helping you guys out big time. Yeah. Right, for the next yeah. one. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Again, come see Van and... Until the next one. Thank you, guys. Hasta la próxima. You know what, Adrian? I could do this. I could make you lunch and treat you like a king and wait on you hand and feet while you're driving. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>